Hello. Uh, today I'm going to do a review of Rockstar's new game, L.A. Noir. In this game, you take the role of a detective in 1940s Los Angeles, where it is your job to solve cases across the city. If you are expecting a retro GTA, then you're probably going to be disappointed with this game. You have the a big open world map. You have gunfights, car chases across the city, but at its core, you still have a very much detective-based story around a few cases of questioning and answering uh, questions from suspects. Basically, you turn up on the scene of a crime, you look for evidence, question the witnesses and come to a conclusion with the evidence you have. The more evidence you gather, the better your investigation will be. In fact, a lot of the time you won't get all the evidence, you won't find all the evidence first time through and in fact you'll have to replay it to um, to get a more satisfactory ending to get the correct person. Um, to the statements which the suspects give you can answer if you think that they are telling the truth, lying or you can just doubt uh, their story. Wrong answers will make them back off from you give you mislead and they might give you misleading information which will not help your case was if you get it correct you can open up new doors in the investigation to find out who the real culprit was the real strengths of the game are the facial recognition features which really mimic best expressions of the main characters than any other games I've played in this is incredibly useful since it since it not only looks really good but allows you to figure out whether the suspect is lying or telling the truth and um, dialogue, the acting dialogue is really good, as you as you would expect. Uh, adding to the atmosphere of the game. In addition to the main side quests, you often get dispatch calls, uh, which you can, you, re you can respond to. These are little side quests where you get to engage in chasing down criminals across the city. And these can often uh, allow a little bit of respite from the main uh, quest. However, the game is not without its flaws and problems, mostly involving the, involving the cover system, which is confusing and often very sticky and not nice to handle. And often it is difficult to find out what you are doing next, especially in the beginning stages, where there isn't that much direction uh, to help you uh, progress. Perhaps there should have been some sort of training mission at the start where you, where you could test out your new stuff, look at how the note, note, uh, notebook works that you get, look at um, some basic um, uh, movements and uh, controls. But most gamers should be able to pick up the basics pretty quickly. I think where most people are going to have a problem with this game is the fact that it is pretty unique. It's not a game that... Uh, which is really completely action-packed. It has its fair share of action, but it, it relies mostly on dialogue to, propel, to pe propel the story forward. In this way, Rockstar has taken a big risk with this game, but I think it pays off. They obviously have done a lot to recreate an authentic feel for the environment of 1940, uh, 1940s downtown LA, which you can see with the newspapers and uh, general backstories, and also the attention attention to detail that they have on the uh, uh, just the, uh, everything is very realistic. To sum up, L.A. Noir is a very good game if you're interested in a detective story and a unique game um, for the, for the for your console. Don't buy this if you're hoping for 1940s Grand Theft Auto. It won't live up to your expectations, nor should it. It is a completely different game, somewhat more refined, but no less exciting at times. Thank you, and I hope you liked this commentary review. Bye.